So let's talk about the info space for a second. We have a couple speakers yeah. uh, at Facebook Mastery Live. Uh, Jeremy Haynes as well is going to, and, I, and, it's, and you know, I love this info space. It's, it's, it, you know, he had a really interesting perspective on it. Just saying like you, everyone underestimates what they have to teach, what they have to give. So like the info space is really just in its infancy, even though we do see a lot of ads, you know, especially when we're in the game, right. but talk a little bit about the info space, where you see it going, why you love it so much. Um, yeah, I mean, this is a great question. Um, so I love the info space for a few reasons. I think, um, you know, what, what Jeremy touched on is so true. I think, uh, you know, you're going to get a ton of haters. Um, I actually go through some of the negative comments um, in the presentation that I have for iStack um, and just how to deal with them and stuff. You're going to get like an unrealistic amount of negative um, feedback. Um, and it's, it's brutal, right? Because it's the internet. Um, but on top of that, I think if that's also one of the things I love so much about it is it's such a difficult space to actually be profitable in. Um, and I think one of the reasons is you have that really long optimization window. So with, with in the info space, typically you're going to get that front end conversion, which is like a ebook giveaway, a webinar, whatever it is. And then you're going to have people that go from there to, uh, you know, they go through that program, whatever. And then they decide if the paid program is for them and make that decision there. So I think one of the things I really like, um, just on a workflow standpoint is the optimization window uh, for, you know, when from the first touch to close is so long, it makes media buying extremely difficult um, because you don't, that conversion doesn't happen for so much long. You know, with e-com, you're going to have that conversion happen. What a minute after the click, you know, yep. for a lot, a lot of the info products, it's going to be minimum a week, minimum, you know, so I think the, the, the difficulty of buying ads, um, it requires a, such a careful process and, you know, you have to really pay attention to data and how, you know, how numbers are moving. And so I love it for that. Um, but then the, the other side, uh, the more human side, what I really love is um, what, what you mentioned earlier. I love how incredible it is when you like your product actually helps people. You know, and if you work with a good product and you that it's a real business and they, you know, they're actually focused on helping like some of my clients right now that I'm working with, you see some of the 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 reviews, the testimonials that their customers leave. And like it, it sounds cheesy, but like it really did change someone's life. You know, it really did. Um, and so I think those two things just kind of made me uh, I didn't like plan to go get an info it wasn't like I set out for it. Um, but once I found myself here, I think for those two reasons, I really liked it and uh, just kind of went all in on it. Uh, very, very cool. So I want there was what else? Did I, oh, I wanted to talk about the actual info process a little bit. Sure. So you, you talked about the conversion window, the seven day conversion window. And it's just something that, that, you know, we're obviously living this as well. And I wanted to ask you, this is my, my personal like thing I'm super interested in right now is sequential remarketing. And being strategic in the messages you hit people rather than just sort of saucing them up with. And that's my question. When you when you bring people through that conversion window, are you very precise about what messages they receive when? Or do you leave that to the Facebook algorithm in terms of just having a sequence of ads and just trusting that Facebook will mix it up enough? Yeah, dude, I, I, I love this question, actually. Um, remarketing is one of my absolute favorite things to talk about. Um, I think it's uh, people oftentimes look at it. It's just like, oh, yeah, it's great low hanging fruit. Just like you know, go, go get the people that engaged. And it's just like, I think it's so different than that. I look at it so differently. Um, I always use the metaphor of like uh, cold traffic and remarketing to being like, uh, let's say you were, you know, for some reason um, you had decided to, uh, you know, try to try to pick up a, a romantic encounter in the bar, right? Like you see someone that you think is very attractive across the bar and you decide, you know, they're talking to a few people, but you decide I'm going to walk over there and just, you know, try my best pickup line and hopefully get their number and see what happens there. So you go over there and you do it. Your cheesy pickup line somehow works. You get the number, you head home. Now, if you were going to go to that bar, let's say four days later, and you saw that exact same person and you tried the exact same method, that person who just gave you their phone number for that exact same method a second ago would look at you like you're insane because what you're doing is insane right? You haven't contextualized how you're going to communicate to that person with any respect to the history of communication between you two. 
So therefore, you're going to come across ridiculous. And so that's something that I that that's really what I try to do with all remarketing is like, how can I contextualize the conversation in order for this ad to not only just like work, right, but provide value. Like it, it, it contextualizes the conversation. It remembers where we picked off. And now we're moving forward and continuing the narrative by adding this sequential piece, right? Um, but I think with Facebook's, uh, you know, vi visibility and the technology where you can literally remarket based off engagement, clicks, time spent on page, whatever it is. Um, yeah, there's really no excuse not to provide that really sequential um, contextualized remarketing. That's something that um, I, I, I really enjoy doing, actually. <laughs> And that's something that works across it, everything, you know, right. every space, whether it's info, product reviews, uh, you know, affiliate stuff. All, you know, I, I just think I think that's the future for sure. It, and it goes back to Minority Report, you know, huh, you know, to, to literally like, hi, you like that V-neck sweater you bought, blah, 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 right. blah. <laughs> you like More, that. It, and it's just value. It's just providing that other layer of value and contextualization that makes all the difference. So that's super cool to hear. And that's a big part of your process. Now, what do you just and so so people are listening to this? A lot of the people in the, we're, we're live in the ad buyers group here, so a lot of these people love buying media, but maybe and a lot of them are probably building agencies or they're running e-com stores or things like that. But maybe they haven't thought about becoming, you know, dipping them, dipping their toes into the actual info space. What, like, from your experience in this space, like, what do you think is the best way to approach that? Do you really need to? Do you have? Do you, do you have to have something unique? Do you have to take? a very specialized aspect of your skill? Do you want to focus on on more biz up on just like, hey, hey, here's how you change your life? Like, what, how would you navigate that space? So I would say the info space is good for anybody who, who has something to say. If you have something to say, you know, and you, you know it if you do, you know, you deep down, you know it if you do. If you have something to say, then I think the info space is worth it for you. Um, I know that Sam, he never wanted to be a speaker, never wanted to be anything like that. Um, you know, he, he wanted to be an entrepreneur and that entre and he had something to say and that just kind of led him into where he was going. Um, so I think a lot of uh, people will know if the info space is right for them because of their burden to get whatever they have on their chest off. You know, I think if you really have something to say um, and you have a product that can help people, you have a vision, you know. The best info products that I've seen come from people who see the market and see a, a problem in it, right? They see an area of lacking and their info product is not just them trying to push their celebrity on everyone, but is instead their method of addressing that issue. And I think when people look at it from that standpoint, um, that they'll know if inf the info space is that for them right away. You know, if you've got something to say and you've looked at the market and you think, wow, like, you know, my voice is necessary here in order to help write, uh, you know, a gap in the market, then I think that you should not wait and jump in immediately. That's very cool. And, it, and again, it's, it can be so niche as well. It could be a Facebook marketing thing. It could be a photography class. It could be like, you know, there's all sorts of aspects of your personality that you have spent developing um, so professionally true. or personally. And there's, and there's just so many different areas and, 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 and there's so many people that have done it. So it's like, I think when you can combine, you know, your level of insight with ads and sequential remarketing and manual bidding and all these sort of difficult, you know, challenging things. And then, but, but then beyond that, everyone, intro has been done for decades, right? When right. it comes to, okay, you need a lead magnet to start. You need to, you know, yep. you need to nurture a relationship throughout the process. So it's like, yep. there really is a roadmap for at least that first stage of success with info. Yeah, I, you know, I really look at it. Um, I, I, I would say it's even more than a roadmap, right? You know, because you're right, it has been around for a long time. You know, some of the absolute best advertorials were things that were like, you know, they're written about Rolls Royces, you know, which and they were they were just full on stories about, you know, you having this incredible drive in a Rolls Royce, right? So I think, you know, because of the diversity, like you were talking about, uh, you, you know, there's, there's so many ways for you to plug your info product into people's lives, I think um, there really is kind of a, a system that will let you know how to do it and how to do it right. Um, you know, for example, like when I when I approach, um, you know, we, we got a new client uh, a couple of weeks ago and we just had their second session. And in their first session, I had put up something, I had noticed something in their account that indicated, you know, may, maybe we can skip a step. Maybe we can go ahead and, and skip this step and 
Um, I created this this uh, campaign and said, uh, hey, guys, watch this real closely in the next two days. If it doesn't do X, 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 go ahead and cut it. So uh, fast forward to the last meetup and I'm like, hey, guys, can you pull up that campaign? I want to see it. And sure enough, everything else had done what it was supposed to. And this failed miserably. And I just remember thinking like, dang, you really can't skip a step. You really can't. And you're right there. It's the, the, the methods have been proven. Um, the model has been out there a long time and there is a right or wrong move for sure. Um, now it's not to say the same, like everyone's path is the same, but I think there is a structure and a format that people can follow to greatly increase their chances of success for sure. And then allow them to innovate at the edges. Yes. Innovate, innovate with the creative and innov innovate with the content even, but when right. it comes Which to the actual way? steps of conversion. Follow, and that's, and that's, where they, that's where you're you're excited to, to innovate, right? Like that's where yeah. you're you're needed, right? People want your 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 play there. They want your twist there. Very cool. Okay, so we have we just have a like you know if, if anyone listening live has any questions, feel free to add them in here. There's a question about an ecom client, which I know is I, you know I don't know how much ecom you've actually run, but they're asking yeah, about I, using I single can, images or carousels. Yeah, I, I I can definitely talk ecom. Um, I'm not I. I